Hey guys, today we have a 20 minute EMOM. You're gonna alternate between 20 dumbbell snatches. You'll do 10 on each side, alternating arms every rep. You'll then do 40 dumbbell or barbell bar hops, and then a one minute plank on the third, and then the last minute will be a rest. If you want for the dumbbell snatches, you can always use a barbell. Pick something light, maybe do 10 reps. If you have something a little bit heavier, maybe it's a moderate weight. If it is a lightweight, then do 20. Do 20 reps, right? Um, each rep should touch the ground if you are using a barbell. It does say uh, dumbbell snatches, but if you don't have a dumbbell, that works just fine, right? You can also do a kettlebell snatch if you'd like. Now for the dumbbell snatches, oh, dumbbell start on the ground. It can be like so, or it can be like so. Is it really a preference? Me, I like it like this. That's how I feel best. Now when I do this, I'm gonna squat down, keep my chest up. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna jump, shrug, pull my elbow high, punch myself under, and stand up straight. I'm gonna to try to keep this thing over my shoulder, okay? So from here, and stand. Now from there, I'm gonna switch hands, touch both ends to the ground, and then go. You want that off hand to be off of your body, okay? Now for the hops, say this is my bar, could be my bar or my dumbbell. You're gonna do lateral hop. So for this would be one, two, three, four, five, and so on, okay? Be careful, right? If you're not um, confident, maybe just stand behind it. Jump to one side and the other, okay? Um, but if you can jump over, you feel confident that you can do it, I would go for it, right? Try not to cheat yourself on that one. Then you have a one minute plank. You guys can be either High plank or low plank, okay? It is up to you. Now, if you are doing kettlebell snatches, you don't have to go down to the ground every time, okay? Kettlebell snatch, for the most part, we'll just go into your hang and over your head, okay? Also, you don't have to alternate, right? If this is all you have and that's what you're using, you can just do 10 on the right side, 10 on the left. So from here, I'm gonna come into my hip like a swing, Extend, elbow high, and punch, okay? So, it should have a loose grip, so that punch punches through the kettlebell, and it just lands nicely, it doesn't hit, okay? If you do have some wrist wraps, it might be smart to put them on, just to help protect your forearm, especially if this is kind of a newer movement for you, all right? If you really need to, you could always just do kettlebell swings if it's getting real sloppy, okay? And it's hurting. Um, that is your workout. Now for our warm up, five minute EMOM. This five minutes, one minute of each, you're gonna start out with jump roping, okay? You could also just do hops. Maybe you just do hops side to side, but you could also do happy penguins, okay? You can do singles, double unders, you can practice double unders, but one minute of jump roping or jumping. Then immediately as that minute ends, the next one starts, right? It'll continue like that for the five minutes. You'll then do inchworms. Now inchworm, you'll just stay in place for this. You'll walk yourself out, lower yourself down, stretch out your stomach, go to downward dog, walk your hands back to your feet, right? Then you walk back out, do it again for a full minute. You'll then go lizard, going back and forth. I would just do a quick drop. Step back, quick drop. And you do that for a minute. You'll then go reach throughs. So here, you'll reach through and then up. And then other side, through, up. And then the last minute, you have bird dog. So opposite arm and leg, extend, reach your heel back and reach your hand as far as you can. And then you're trying to be as still as you can through your torso, so this should not move. It should actually be pretty tight, almost like you're holding a plank, okay? That is your warm up. five minutes. After that, you have stretching. You'll do one minute of a pigeon pose on each side, so leg hopefully like 90 degree angle or somewhere close, and then you'll do a minute downward dog. Drive that head through, drive those heels down, and you'll hold that for the full minute, okay? Now, once you're done with the stretching, you guys will go into six dumbbell snatches. Could just be barbell snatches or kettlebell snatches, but six, and then six bar hops, 
okay, or dumbbell hops. Use this three to four rounds to find your weight for the snatches or just to get the warmed up, say you only have one weight, just use that, that's okay. Do a few rounds, get warm and go. If not, find your weight and then after three to four rounds, take a little bit of rest, hit the workout. Once you're done with the workout, you're gonna do your cool down. Now for the cool down, we'll start out by stretching out your calves. So if you have a wall or anything like that, toe up, leg straight, pull your hip in. You could also use an elevated surface like this and just lean forward over it, right? Stretching out your calves. You'll then go child's pose. So three minutes here, feet together, knees out, sit back as far as you can, drop down, reach forward as far as you can, right? Three full minutes there. And then you'll finish off with two minutes of a twisted cross. So leg up and cross. You can always use this hand, keep it down, keep this shoulder down. Okay, and then you'll go two minutes on the other side. Once you're done with that, that's your cool down, that's your workout, and you're good to go. Hopefully it helps.